Good morning, Belzer. It's time for our morning announcements. I'm Christian. And I'm Tamir. We're here to bring you to the latest Belzer news. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Today is Tuesday, November 29th. It is National Lemon Cream Pie Day, Giving Tuesday, and a silent reading day. Don't forget to turn in your reading logs. Today lunch meet is Hostel Miniature's Choice, Mozzarella Sticks or Cheese Knots, Ham Turkey and Cheese Stuffed Salad, Tuna Salad Sandwich, Green Beans, and Mashed Potatoes with Gravy. Former presidential candidates Jill Sting and Hillary Clinton are pushing for vote recounts in Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. Three states president-elect Trump won by small margin in the November 8th election. Sting has raised enough money to pay for the recount in Wisconsin, Michigan, which will begin soon. However, getting a recount in Pennsylvania is very difficult and unlikely to occur. In honor of Giving Tuesday, we want to share this NBC News story with you. The fields. As the gentle giant stirs. Never stop giving, never stop loving, never stop growing. Jason Brown is big, football player big, 6'3", 320. And yes, seven years as a pro center with the NFL's Ravens and Rams. When I turned 27 years old, um, that was the same age uh, that my older brother was uh, when he was killed serving our country in Afghanistan. and. It really caused me uh, to take an examination uh, of my life. Brown walked away from a seven million contract and hung up his cleats. I wear a size 16 shoe and he wore a 14 shoe. And to tell you the truth, um, I still couldn't feel his shoes. Deeply religious and devoted to his family, he too wanted to serve. But instead of the military, Jason Brown bought a farm. How did you learn how to farm? You know, when I tell people that I learned to farm from watching videos on YouTube, uh, I get a lot of laughs and I get a lot of chuckles, right? He calls it First Fruits Farm. Jason grows food to give it away. Where the first harvest is all donated to feed the hungry. We have a list of names and we share because sharing is caring. This year, more than 250,000 pounds of sweet potatoes. <laughs> and lining up in the dirt alongside the volunteers on Harvest Day, the former football player who used to snap the ball in front of millions from the line of scrimmage. This is the most wonderful thing that you could possibly do. I really don't want any type of notoriety other than for people to say, you know what, that's just some, some kid from the country that could play a little bit of football, but look what he's doing with his life right now. If he can do it, I can do it. For this mountain of a man, helping those less fortunate reaps the best bounty of all. Kevin Tibbles, NBC News, Lewisburg, North Carolina. J.K. Rowling is also giving back by sending her Harry Potter ebooks to a seven-year-old in Syria. The girl named Bennett has a Twitter account and posted a tweet stating that she likes to read to forget about the ongoing war. Bennett also stated she watched the Harry Potter movies and wanted to read the book. Now to Sam with the sports and weather update. Good morning, Bruins. I'm Sam, and I'm here to give you your sports and weather. Today's weather will be a high of 57 and a low of 46. It's part, it will be partly cloudy. Yesterday, the Warriors played the box and the won 105 to 100. Today, both 7th and 8th boys basketball play home against Perry Meridian. Remember, students are not allowed to stay after for any games. You must go home on a, bu on a bus and can return at 4.45. Today is, a, is the call-out meeting in the LGI room for students interested in wrestle, wrestling. Swimming tryouts begin Thursday at 4 o'clock, and the tryouts for girls basketball begins next Tuesday. Students must have a completed physical packet on file with the athletic office. Now back to our anchors. Thank you, Sam. Reminder to all students from our principals, when arriving at school, your winter coats are to be put in your lockers for the day and should not be worn to class. Today is Giving Tuesday. It is a day dedicated to terrible giving, a fine and find a way to give back. Here's today's interesting fact. About half of all Americans are on a diet on any given day. Today's celebrated birthday is Russell Wilson, who's turned 28 today. He is the quarterback for the Seattle Seahawks. 
On this day in history, in 1947, the state of Israel was created. Our quote today is from the Dalai Lama who once said, the purpose of our life is to be happy. Remember, the Belzer blog is online and available for your student for your silent reading time. Have a great day, Bruins. Good morning, Bruins. Two quick announcements before we get to our reading. Uh, one, obviously reading logs are due today. Please send tickets down to the main office. Uh, continue to do a good job getting those reading logs turned in, and we will do an incentive drawing on Friday. And then real quickly, I just want to thank, personally thank, uh, so many of the staff members here at Belzer on this Giving Tuesday. We have a huge number of staff members in this building that contribute a portion of their paycheck every other week to the Lawrence Township Foundation. That foundation funds our after-school buses, activity buses, field trips, and a number of other things that directly benefit you students. And so I want to personally thank all the staff members here in this building who give back some of their hard-earned money uh, to directly benefit our students here at Belzer. Let's make it a great day.